All praises go to the Most High. I am just but a humble servant and vessel. But this is unbelievable, brothers and sisters. So from the video, my last video that I just showed you, um, talking about how NASA will be um, putting up three rockets into the eclipse's shadow on October the 14th, into this um, ring of fire eclipse. And then we went down here and we learnt that APEP, or APEP, which is A-P-E-P, -P, um, is the name of these rockets. And it comes from a serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology. Okay, boy did that lead me down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and, I mean, these rabbit holes are so important because it ties in everything and it's... It makes things real and it makes things so like aha like clear and concise and father is so good father is just so good so with that being said um, I'm going to jump into my word documents that I did um, my study on this afternoon this evening and so I had a look into a peep or a pep however you want to say it okay and uh, basically this is a pep here it's this water serpent it's an ancient deity and the idea of this a pep is that the sun god ra this is like ancient mythology egyptian mythology right but it's very important because the ancient sun god ra which has a connection to like the son of God, right? Because it says in one of the last books of the Old Testament that the son of righteousness, that's the S-U-N, it says, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. So we've got to be a little bit more open-minded. So with this particular um, serpent, what was supposed to have happened was every day when Ra, the sun god, set, it supposedly went down into the underworld and this um a peep or a pep however you want to say it this ancient serpent would try and attack the sun god ra while it was you know in the underworld type thing and basically the mythology is is that sometimes occasionally um this serpent deity was able to swallow ra the sun god and this is when a eclipse would have formed. Like, this is really, really interesting, brothers and sisters, because, I mean, we know this is not true. I'm just showing you the, um, the mythology behind it because it's very important to why NASA called their rockets this particular name. Now, what you see here, this is a picture, an ancient hieroglyphic picture this serpent here is in the water. It's a serpent, a large, it's massive, right? I watched a bunch of videos on it, History Channel, uh, you know, Ancient Egyptian History Channel, all that kind of stuff, just to really find out what the go is with this so-called serpent deity. And um, so this is in um, Ancient Egypt here, and they're riding this, um, you know, this boat here, and this serpent is underneath, right? And basically, it goes on to say that all the Egyptians, they, they didn't want, they built no temples to this ancient serpent because they didn't, you know, they want the sun to come up every day, right? So they basically um, made their sun god, you know, they worshipped the sun god and everything like that, and they tried to help the sun god so that, you know, um, this serpent couldn't attack or eat or get rid of the sun god anyway it is important brothers and sisters so when you go as soon as i saw this picture father laid on my spirit like boom remember where you've seen that picture before we go down here to the ip goat okay straight away i'm like no way father no way is this what the ip goat was all about and brothers and sisters i'm about to blow your mind <laughs> Okay, so um, this is the same Egyptian boat that these people are riding in, right, with the ancient serpent underneath the water. 
and see there's the Egyptian pyramids there and everything like that and then you have the sun and the, when you watch the I pet goat thing the whole lot of it shows you eclipses so many times and um, so anyway we go down here and I said is this scene showing a pep the pep rockets being fired at the solar eclipse and this is why at the start of I pet goat it shows 12 p.m. and then it goes from light in the classroom to darkness outside okay 12 p.m. at Corpus Christi is the max eclipse and like Amos 8 says the Sun will go down at noon now is this their final attempt brothers and sisters so you can see the missiles there too is this their final attempt is this the ancient serpent the dragon that goes to tries to go and devour the child as soon as it's born and when that child is born it's getting caught up to father's throne is this like is this what John saw did he see this ancient serpent a peep a pep however you want to say it um, did he see this as a final attack trying to get the child to devour the child as soon as it was born and is this the reason why the verse says no weapon formed against you shall prosper is the weapon talking about these rockets that NASA, which we know is inherently evil, <clears throat> I mean, its um, its logo is like the snake's tongue and all the other stuff that goes with it, right? But is this the weapon form they're trying to form against us, which will not prevail? So uh, we keep going down here, as you can see. Look at this, brothers and sisters, because I, I had a look and there was some YouTube sh you YouTube shorts. Okay, the terrible serpent of Egyptian mythology, a pep. Okay, and look at this cave, and this boat is coming out of it. Look at this scene from my pet goat. It's the cave with this thing coming out of it. Okay, and the new Christ, the Antichrist, coming on it. I mean, brothers and sisters, Father is just blowing my mind. And here is uh, the sun god Ra. Okay, and this is what he has above his head. It's literally a solar eclipse, the ring of fire, okay? And this is a peep trying to devour the sun god. And that is what causes the uh, eclipse in ancient Egypt mythology, right? This is unbelievable, brothers and sisters. I can, <laughs> like, all praises go to the Most High, Jehovah. Holy, holy, holy is his name. Like, this is unbelievable, okay? And then um, I was watching this... Um, this um, Egyptian mythology channel and I just screenshotted some of the story like the mythological story about the beginning of the world and brothers and sisters I have to read you this now when I'm talking about this stuff please don't think I'm going down you know this other path or whatever I know who my God is I know the one true God and that's who I worship but I just want you to realize the the importance of understanding the enemy's camp and where he's coming from so that we can see what we're looking at right now is i think our our redemption brothers and sisters i truly believe this is it okay